Dozens of people gathered in southwest Detroit calling on Enbridge to shut down the Line 5 pipeline. The rally comes on the same day of Governor Whitmer's imposed May 12th deadline for the company to stop operations of the pipeline. Enbridge plans to defy that order, fighting the state in court. The 68-year-old pipeline runs underneath the Straits of Mackinac, where Lakes, where Lakes Michigan and Lake Huron meet. If one of those anchors from one of those ships of barges hit that line and ruptured it, it will poison the water for millions, not only for Americans, but for Canadians as well. Governor Whitmer sent Enbridge a letter saying after Wednesday's deadline, the company would be trespassing on state land and that the state could go after its profits. Enbridge argues the state has no authority because the Federal Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration oversees interstate pipelines. President Biden will meet with six Republican senators today to discuss a bipartisan compromise on federal infrastructure spending. The White House backs a more than $2 trillion plan that includes money not only for roads and bridges, but also to care for the elderly and the disabled. Republicans want a smaller bill, about a quarter of the size. The president says the families making under $400,000 a year will not pay more in taxes to help fund his agenda. Meanwhile, House Republicans have voted to remove Wyoming Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney from her role as GOP conference chair. This happened just Wednesday during a closed door meeting. Those pushing for the change have been upset with Cheney's criticism of former President Trump.